Hey guys, what's up? Mark Brooks here with Live Vision Baseball. In a game of failure, a hitter's biggest challenge is to be confident and stay confident when they're not getting results. If the only way a hitter can cultivate confidence is from whether or not they get a hit, they will always be a slave to their stats. This game is so mental, it's mind-blowing. It will take you on adventures that you did not plan. One moment you think you're playing a kid's game, and the next you're lost in the woods. Ted Williams said it best when he said baseball is the hardest thing to do consistently in all of sports. As strikeouts increase, and as pitchers begin to throw harder, it's becoming more and more apparent than ever. If a hitter wants to play at the next level, the relationship to failure needs to be a positive one. Instead of failure being a reflection of self-worth, it becomes a feedback mechanism, an opportunity to learn. From here, you can lead by example. Your presence becomes felt on the field. We can step in the batter's box, look at the opposing pitcher, and say, I have what it takes to beat you. We can head to our position on defense, look at the opposing dugout, and say to ourselves, I am better than every single one of you. Not with arrogance, just a competitor expressing a state of mind, a positive mindset, a gamer mentality, the ability to go into compete mode when it's time to execute. As ballplayers, we can use this by using the power of reframes. When we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. Here are four reframes you can use in baseball to be confident and stay confident, especially when you've come across a little bit of adversity on the ball field. The Derek Jeter principle. When Derek Jeter was struggling at the plate, he taught himself to look at failure as a single step towards success. In other words, each plate appearance where he failed to get on base, make solid contact, win the at-bat, was a plate appearance closer to one where he did. Each failure was simply a step towards a success. From this perspective, there's no bad or there's no good, but thinking makes it so. So we need to think less and focus on what we can control. What will set you apart are the lessons you draw from adversity. How quickly you can learn and adjust in a game of adjustments. You can fail your way to success. The Roberto Clemente principle, 12 swings is all you need. Let's say you have four at-bats, you have three strikes to use. If you swing all three times, that's 12 swings. All you need to do is put one ball in play, one hard hit ball, one quality swing, and a bit of luck to collect one hit a day. Sure, it's not always that simple, but if we keep an open mind, we can at least see where Clemente was going with his philosophy. Nothing happens until the bat comes off the shoulder. If you're going to go down, go down swinging. You don't have to hit a five run homer or two triples in a single plate appearance. You just need to connect the sweet spot of the bat with the ball. And the only way to do that is to swing. Do it 12 times, see what happens. The hit ball hard, you win reframe. This is from my buddy Steve Springer. As hitters, how good we get at showing up to the plate with 100% confidence will dictate how far we make it in this game. We can do this by redefining our definition of success. Success isn't getting a hit. Success is hitting the ball hard. Hit ball hard, you win. If you get a hit, it's a bonus. Think about the freedom that gives you. You don't have to get a hit to be successful. Now you can play this game with reckless abandon. All of a sudden, the game slows down. The game becomes fun. You have freedom. The O for O mentality. The same way you pull out of a slump is the same exact way you stay hot during a hitting streak. We approach the plate and take each at bat like we're O for O on the day. There's no past getting in the way of the present moment, no future to dictate how we feel in the present moment. Each at bat we're O for O. Clean slate, present, focused, and on time. The BFD mentality, whether you're 0 for 0 with four strikeouts or four for four with four doubles, big freaking deal. Let's say you absolutely stunk in your last few at bats. Hitting isn't a looks contest. It doesn't have to be pretty. Some of your best days at the plate will be when your swing feels off and your hands feel slow. Why? Because you know you don't have it today. You know you're gonna stink today, so you stop caring so much. All of a sudden, your natural abilities start to surface because you stop trying so hard. You're in BFD mode. You're free to put pressure on the defense and make the pitcher work. You're fighting tooth and nail with two strikes because you have nothing to lose. When you're struggling at the plate, you have two choices. Find a way or make one. 
The moment you think you have this game figured out, it has a funny way of showing you that you don't. You will fall short. You will lose confidence and you will lose motivation. But it's the only way you're going to find out who you truly are by being challenged on the ball field. It never takes away that opportunity and it never eases up on that pressure. Your next step back, use one of these hitting reframes. Change the way you look at failure and your failures will begin to change.